Hey Ricky, here's the clutch pedal. It comes up further than the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal is even further down. I got, you know, that's a different kind. I put these on. Um, so usually when I adjust, when I get the clutch pedal even with the brake pedal as far as height from the floor, that's usually really close to where the proper engagement point for my taste is. Now oh, that's very unscientific, but anyways. And I called this play. Basically, no resistance movement in the pedal is, you see I'm using one finger. Let me try to get this sideways here. So you see I'm using one finger here. And it's got, it's got that much mute, uh, movement. Obviously this is a, uh, uh, 2,600 and something pound pressure plate, so I couldn't be pushing in on that pressure plate with one finger. And then actually I put a, just a little more force, it'll go fairly easily that much. So there's room in there for something. Okay, now judging the pedal, maybe I can keep it like this, I don't know. I'm gonna push the pedal, oh, oh that's hard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it like this. All right, I got the pedal all the way down. Looking at the camera to see if you're able to see this properly. Okay, I'm on the floor and this hurts. <laughs> all right, the clutch pedal can come out, I'm starting to come out about that much before it uh, even starts to release that throw out bearing. And then it slowly releases, and then I'm still going, I'm still going, I'm still going, I'm still going, I'm still going. And somewhere around here is where it actually fully grips, just bam, grips. And then it's actually just right here, right at the end, and then you have just this little dip at the end. So basically, I'm pushing the clutch pedal in, and I can come up what feels like about, let's see, I'm trying to gauge how far that is. Let's say between two and three inches before it starts to engage or disengage. And then it's a longer throw than it used to be. You see, you can see the pedal. Let me do that again so you can see some of the pedal. It's on the floor, so I come out probably that somewhere between two and three inches before it's doing, it's making any noise with a, a throw out bearing. Okay, so that's definitely room. And then at this point, the, the there's no grip going on with the clutch. It, the car is not going forward really. Uh, and I continue to come out and come out and come out and come out and about right here it starts to grip and then just right before I get to the top it fully grips and then I've got this extra play. So you let me know what you think. I know that's not scientific. Uh, there's the clevis. The camera can't really get a good, a good angle on, on that clevis. So that's the rod as you saw in the picture those pictures are actually better than what this camera is probably going to pick up but the clevis has uh, a pretty good movement quite a bit of free play in it right now I realize the camera I don't know what it's able to see but I know you can hear that so right now it's got plenty of movement and in this actual rod, if it's showing it, you should be able to see that rod in the back kind of, you see that movement? And then again, refer to the pictures and trying to get that camera around that edge, it just won't do it, will it?
maybe get a sneak peek here. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of showing it to you. It's as close as I can get around this this pedal's blocking it. Do you see there how that uh, that bolt's coming through? I know I can turn that bolt without it binding or without it hitting the actual metal backside of this uh, pedal. Probably at least four or five times. You know, it's in. If I had to measure. I would say as much as it's already turned in there it will go that far again or close to it before it hits the back side of the pedal if that makes sense to you so now I don't know if this thing binds only when that bolt hits the back side of this metal or if this will bind even when it's just turned in closer but it's still not touching the pedal because you can see the movement of the actual pedal itself it doesn't you know it's locked in with that pin <coughs> with that cotter pin so when the pedal goes forward it's not like it's going to go into further into that fork anyways appreciate your help man